Have you heard of the term diagnostic overshadowing? What it means in the field of providing services and supports and healthcare for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities is that when we see a new behavior, we might be likely to attribute it to the person's disability rather than looking for another underlying cause. That's where the diagnosis of the person's disability overshadows the actual diagnosis, which might be, say, a toothache that's caught, causing them to you know, have self-injurious behavior where they may hit their cheek or their head or bite their arm or some other medical issues. It is a very important concept to recognize, especially for healthcare providers to recognize, as well as everyone who works in the field of services and supports. It's very easy sometimes to say, oh, a person just does this behavior because they have a disability and that's what they always do. Well, I can tell you uh, from personal experience that many times there, are, there is some underlying cause. It could be an underlying medical cause. It could be an underlying environmental issue that the person doesn't like a particular situation, but the only way they have to communicate it is to have adverse behaviors. The Joint Commission, which is a large accrediting body for hospitals, recently put out the Sentinel Event Alert number 65, and you can find that on the web, and it talks about the importance of recognizing diagnostic overshadowing in people with mental health issues, people with disabilities, and how important it is we, for us to understand this and, and to look for underlying causes for changes in behavior. I encourage you to look at it.